Good day, fine friends, old and new. We're back for another weekly vlog, and in this episode, I'm prepping the boat to go on holiday. Ever wondered what you do when you want to go away as a continuous cruiser? Well, keep watching and I'll give you four must-dos before you disappear for a while. Please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave me a comment. I love reading and replying. So, where do we start? Ah, yes. My dad and I are on a mission to fill up my wood collection because who wants an empty wood store after you return from a holiday? Not me! And all of that before breakfast. Who's hungry? Yeah, the young ones. And or fire starter, what's his name? <laughs> going on holiday for a couple of weeks which means leaving the boat and making sure that she's safe she's full of wood she has been shut down just in case any weather changes and it gets really really cold um, so the pipes don't freeze i like to come back to the boat and everything is ready to go and i don't have to worry about stocking up with wood or i don't have to worry about cleaning out the aga i can just get back and it's all done for me so that's my intention today is to do a load of boat jobs to close down the boat so that yeah everything is great when i get back after my little holiday some more jobs i want to do i need to water my plants um i need to pack <laughs> i would like to actually also take all the plant pots off the roof and empty them because next year i'm actually going to be painting the roof of my boat I'm not going to bother planting bulbs for spring. I'm just going to leave it. There's a really nice area where you can just drop off things that people might actually want themselves. So I'm going to leave a load of plant pots there to see if anyone wants them. Um, so it's a good opportunity to do that now. What else? Clean the shower. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. And the bow. And the floor needs a mop in. And just stuff like that. Probably go into the engine room. I uh, need to shut everything down as well in there, turn off all the batteries, turn off the gas, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, busy afternoon and I've probably got about two hours of sunlight, so better crack on.
have no idea what I'm going to do with that soil. Uh, but our good jobs are done. Let's move inside. Usually, if you burn your stove hard for at least 30 minutes a day, which I do and for longer, it helps keep the flue clear. But even so, excess soot can clog up. I clean my stove once during midwinter and again in April May time. This isn't an essential job for shutting down your boat, but maintenance is key with this lifestyle. just looked at my face. Look like I've been uh, acting in the latest Mary Poppins. Chim chimney, chim chimney. So um yeah I guess the uh one of the best things about going away and doing all this stuff is just like firstly I've got some time and secondly there are all these little jobs like cleaning out the fruit bowl and cleaning out the veg box and all these little things that I just don't do when I'm doing other things because they're really not important um, but I still want to do them so yeah and another job I've been putting off for ages is cleaning out my bilge box so my sink and my shower link up to this box which has a little mini bilge pump in it, which pumps the water out. So that can get pretty nasty, as you can imagine. Oh, it smells really badly. Uh, um, and to be honest, it's also a job that isn't, isn't totally necessary, because it's not, I don't really know how you design a boat. You can hear it going off now on the bilge, because I've touched the water. You don't need, to have a little bilge pump like this because there are other boats that have um they press a button and it pumps it out and i think that is so much more so much better and if i were to have another boat and i were to design the boat myself i would absolutely have a um push the button kind of shower me um for you and i i mean does that need to be cleaned out both to people that have that kind of device on the boat is that something that needs to be cleaned out regularly Blech. it's like stinks of like just horrible stale water so gross. While I'm down here, I'm going to take out the fuse that links the water pump um, so that when I drain my pipes later, that the pump doesn't pump more water out and I can completely get all of the water out of my pipes. Let me give you a rundown of the things you have to think about before you leave for an extended period of time. First, water. Remove the fuses and drain the pipes. This will prevent water going places it shouldn't and reduce the risk of burst pipes caused from minus temperatures. Second, gas. Turn it off to prevent any unwanted explosions. Third, power. Depending on your setup, you may need to turn everything off while you're away, including the fridge. But make sure all the bilge pumps are powered, as they can be the difference between a sunken boat and a floating one. Thankfully, the trickle of power from my solar setup means I can keep the 12 volt fridge and toilet extraction fan going, even while I'm away. Finally, as a continuous cruiser that has to move on every two weeks, the question remains, where do I keep my boat? If I were to go away for longer than two weeks, I'd have to put her in a marina or think about a winter mooring ahead of time. 
Another option is mooring the boat somewhere completely away from civilization with minimal access. Boats that overstay in popular mooring spots are at risk of annoying other boaters or getting a warning from the canal and the trust. Seems a bit of a pointless job this time of year, cleaning up the mud, because I'm just going to be walking my muddy boots back over this bow, but you know, you got to keep your dick ship shape. A huge massive thank you to Tom C, Adrian, Sharon, Steve Jones, Paul S, Mark C, Robert Clark, Nigel Whittle, Kevin, Tony T, James Hill, Tony Basin, Martin, Aid, Graham W, Richard, David, Cora and Dave. There are all some net there are also some names that came through as someone, so thank you to you lovely anonymous supporters too. You guys are what keeps this channel going. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.